What is going on everybody and welcome back to SoCal Exploring. My name is Scott and you're watching your stop for all things theme park and attraction related. If you guys are new here, consider subscribing down below with those bell notifications on and leave this video a like at the end if you enjoyed it. And if you haven't already, make sure you check out our social media accounts at Exploring Attractions on Instagram and at SoCal Exploring on Twitter. And we also have a collaborative haunt group called The Boo Bros, where we make different types of haunt related and theme park related videos. We have a Boo Bros podcast and stuff like that. And uh, we're on the road to a thousand subscribers right now. It's crazy that we've already gotten to, uh, we're approaching 600 subscribers and just under like five months so subscribe to that channel down below if you want to see some collaborative uh, haunt content the boo bros youtube channel down below in the description anyways another hhn video i was you know shocked that we're getting another speculation map that hn nightmares on twitter teased as you guys know if you guys have been watching the videos for a while and if you're in the community hn nightmares is kind of the go-to as far as unofficial halloween horror nights news and they always put out these speculation maps that are pretty accurate so today we have both a new or Orlando map and we have a Hollywood map as well. Although the Hollywood map hasn't changed much, there has been a lot changed to the HHN 30 Orlando map. But yeah, for me to make three videos in under a week for Halloween Horror Nights, you know that speculating season is heating up and hopefully soon announcement season will start up to where we start getting our official Halloween Horror Nights announcements from Universal themselves and we, you know, don't have to speculate anymore. We can more talk about what we're most excited about for the maze or mazes or houses or scare zones, etc, etc. Before every speculation video, everything that we're talking about in this video, is just speculation solely nothing is official like i said it's unofficial 100 percent rumors all this talk is just based off the speculation that hn nightmares puts out so please take this with a grain of salt if stuff changes when the official announcements come out from universal anyways we're first going to start off with the hollywood speculation map which i said there's not a lot change at all like basically one thing change and that's it so i'm sorry hollywood fans but uh at least our, you know, we don't have to worry about a certain property added sign taken down. So we have all the same mazes, Texas Chainsaw Massacre, Halloween 3, Beetlejuice, The Walking Dead Attraction, The Haunting of Hill House, and The Bride of Frankenstein lives. And then of course we have the Pandora's Box maze, which was originally speculated to be Pandora's Box version 2. However, it's now just Pandora's Box, the same exact one as we had in 2019. And yes, that's, I mean, you can tell in the layout of the maze, you can tell in the layout of the facade that's per currently being constructed that it is going to be Pandora's Box version 1. Now, I'm hoping that, you know, the layout is just the exact same except for there's different scenes, but I highly doubt that with budget cuts and whatnot. Um, like, it's going to be a more scaled down event this year in Hollywood. I'm just happy that we're still getting a, a full event in the sense of that we're getting more mazes than we thought we were um compared to just getting a light event where it's like two mazes in the Walking Dead attraction. No shows, no scare zones, kind of obvious. I really don't think that we'll end up getting scare zones unless they want to reuse ideas from 2019 as well or years prior i just think that if they were planning on scare zones they would have already had them drawn up they would have already had ideas for them and you know some speculation would have been out there as far as what scare zones could be so i don't think that we're getting scare zones this year at all in hollywood or shows which means no job walkies even though they're probably cheap to bring to hollywood since they always come back every year they must have some contract with them but I don't think we're getting any Jabberwockies this year. Although they could still run the show because they could still do social distancing and whatnot, even though social distancing is going away on June 15th, and I'm pretty sure come September, it will be gone from the major theme parks and such. I just don't understand why they wouldn't bring a show to make it more of a people eater. But then again, it could be nice for us HHN fans, our, you know, normal HHN fans who typically go to the event every year to have lower ticket prices. So here's the hoping that we have lower ticket prices, lower frequent fear passes. Unfortunately, I don't think that it'll be drastically lower. It could even stay the same as years prior. But I'm just hoping that it doesn't skyrocket like Disney, you know, them overpricing stuff. But yeah, no need to fear Halloween 3 Season of the Witch is still on there. Even though the sign on the current construction has been taken down, the Silver Shamrock Novelty sign has been taken down. Um, it's still on that speculation map. So until we hear anything further, we're still getting Halloween 3, you know, as a rumor. It's not confirmed yet. But as far as the changes for Hollywood speculation map goes, that's it. So now let's move into Halloween Horror Nights 30 over at Universal Studios Florida. All right, so when I first look at this map, I'm extremely excited for the different changes. I mean, like more excited than I was for the first speculation map. So let's go over some of the return or not returning stuff, but the stuff that was already on the original one, which is the Bride of Frankenstein Lives, Texas Chainsaw Massacre, Revenge of the Tooth Fairy, Ancient Icons Captured, Welcome to Scary, 
Tree, Wicked Growth, Puppet Theater, Haunting of Hill House, Beetlejuice, and then the 30th Anniversary Zone, and the Terra Quintus Zone. Now, there's been a lot of talk in Orlando getting a version of Halloween 3, Season of the Witch, just like Hollywood, compared to Creepshow, which was originally rumored. And these two are in the Shrek Theater. Now, on the map, it says Creepshow or Halloween 3. And then at the bottom, it reads, All of our sources are divided on whether the Shrek House is Creepshow or Halloween 3. So we decided to present you with both options for right now. Our next map should have a more precise information on this location. Which makes perfect sense. I've been hearing it all as well. Halloween 3, Creepshow, you know, everyone's kind of confused on what's going to be in the Shrek Theater. I'm hoping that it's not a last minute thing to where... It turns out to be a bad creep show house or a bad Halloween 3 house. Although I'd much rather see a Halloween 3 house at HHN 30 this year just to see how they compare to each other between both coasts. I think that'd be really cool. Um, as far as scare zones go, there's a scare zone on here that I'm really excited for if it's true, which is the Shutter Scare Zone, coincidentally right next to the Shrek Theater, which would work out perfectly if there's a creep show house in that location. Shutter is a horror streaming service that you know puts out creep show on their platform. So Shutter also has a ton of different like horror themed. Um, series and horror themed movies that could go well in this scare zone and I would love to see a compilation zone of Shudder I think it'd be really, really cool I've talked about a crypt TV scare zone or a crypt TV maze slash house in the past which is a completely different thing it's like a YouTube channel that does a different Halloween shorts and stuff or horror shorts and stuff like that Shudder is kind of the same way except for they're more of an official name I guess you could say since they are a streaming service and they do have creep show on their platform so either way I'm excited for this i think it's gonna be really neat i'm all for it and i was not expecting this at all so here's the hoping that it's true it's something that comes out of the blue from ancient nightmares and usually stuff that comes out of the blue it means that it's true like 99 percent true because where else would they get that idea from other than if they're hearing it from their sources and stuff and then the two other zones would be the eddie zone which is jack the clown's brother and i think that he definitely deserves more recognition at the event which would be really neat to see a zone just surrounding him and then a seek and destroy zone not too sure what that is quite yet uh, we'll have to wait to hear more about that once they actually announce zones if that is coming uh, that could have potential though whatever it could be seek and destroy seems kind of menacing uh, maybe you have these characters who are targeting the guests, you know, they're seeking the guests and seeking to destroy them So that can fit perfectly with the whole storyline of it, but I'm curious to see what seek and destroy is I have no idea what it is at all So leave some comments down below what you think seek and destroy could be the seek and destroy zone would be in the New York area And then the Eddie zone would be in the San Francisco area now for the two shows which were originally you rest areas Obviously, we don't need you rest areas anymore. All the restrictions have been lifted especially in Florida So for the two shows they have down the lagoon show and they have down a jack stage show which man That's perfect. I want to see the lagoon show so bad it, especially they have Halloween 3 at the event this year to have them incorporate Halloween 3 into the Lagoon show would be awesome could you imagine like the silver shamrock kind of commercial playing on the water like ah god that just that'd be great and then all of a sudden insects start eating our face yeah i know okay we'll, we won't get to that part of it and then the jack stage show would be in the fear factor stage which is a very big venue and i think that it'd be really neat to have an actual stage show in there based on jack i mean it's an anniversary year halloween horn it's 30th anniversary you need more icon love this year and that's why there's an icon house hhn icons captured there's an eddie zone a terra quintus zone and now rumored to be a jack stage show in the fear factor area so definitely i'm excited for this event there's plenty of historical representation in this anniversary year and i think with this lineup for halloween horror nights 30 i'm 100 percent okay with this like i said well no i'll say 99 percent okay with this because we don't know if it's going to be creep show or halloween 3 if it's halloween 3 i'll be 100 percent okay with this this is a killer lineup of scare zone shows and houses but if it's creep show then i'll be 95 percent okay with it um but yeah I i'm really hoping that halloween 3 ends up being the house that ends up in the shrek location but that's going to do it for today's video here on socal exploring um i hope you guys enjoyed it if you did make sure to leave it a like because it helps out the channel a whole lot and it helps out the video a whole lot and subscribe 
subscribe down below with those bell notifications on because if you want to see more videos like the one that you just watched or theme park videos or other haunt videos like this then you don't want to miss when we upload them on a weekly basis anyways my name is scott you've been watching socal exploring positivity is key and most importantly remember to keep exploring peace out everybody